Hi, my name is Chris Madden, and this is my city, St. Paul, Minnesota. In this video, I will touch on two things. First will be my thoughts on the importance of using video content in your classroom. And second, I will propose a fun classroom activity that uses videos and Google Earth. And as a sort of final bonus, I will show you one of my TikTok videos. Teaching and learning via videos is a fascinating topic, primarily because I feel we as humans are naturally attracted to moving images. With the widespread predominance of smartphones with fast and cheap internet connections, people are consuming video content in larger and larger amounts. Five hours a day, seven hours a day. I don't know about these kids, but I, I'm in front of a screen eight hours a day or more, I feel. I think it's important to remember that the term video and video content isn't limited to movies and TV shows, but also includes shorter content such as news clips, vlogs, and social media video content. Now this won't be a surprise to people living in China, but TikTok has absolutely exploded in popularity in Western countries. Their short 15 to 60 second video format is the format of choice for younger generations. It seems that our collective attention spans keeps getting shorter and shorter, and our students are raised in this environment. Instead of swimming against the current, I, I choose to accept these trends and try to incorporate it in the ESL classroom, making it a supplemental activity where students have to watch English content videos every week and keep a journal on the vocabulary and expressions they learn. You can choose and provide the content, whether that be a sitcom or short YouTube videos, or you can give the students freedom to find topics of interest to them as long as people are speaking English and they're taking notes along the way, that's the goal. This method blends entertainment and learning into one, hopefully building good habits for students to discover and search for English language content and learn things from the videos they watch. And now on to part two, and I show you my favorite thing to do in class, Google Earth. Wonderful, glorious Google Earth. I love showing and playing around with Google Earth in class. It encourages exploration, promotes navigational skills, and is a great motivational tool to show the students all the places they can go if they continue and work hard in their education. And here I just zoomed in from space to my first primary school in South Korea. When I showed the students this, they just gasped in awe. Next, I'd show them Gwangju, the bigger city nearby, and Mudungsan Mountain. And it's always fun to show students where your hometown is, so I'd click in St. Paul, Minnesota. Let's fly through my neighborhood, shall we? This is where I grew up and currently live during this pandemic. St. Paul and Minneapolis are called the Twin Cities because they're so close to each other. Two big cities right across the Mississippi River from each other. The University of Minnesota is located here, and here is my favorite spot to eat Korean food. Mmm, spicy Korean pork. Let's quick say hi to Minneapolis next door. Then I would have students raise their hands and tell me where they want to go in the world. Barcelona? Sure, let's go. Sydney, Australia? Yeah, why not? And this is when I tell them that, you know, English is the language of tourism and it's spoken across the world. You should study hard in English because you'll be able to use this language anywhere you go. Even for non-ESL classes, it's a great tool to have in your toolbox. History, geography, even math, calculating distances between places. It's great to be able to pull this up and show students the world. All right, finally, I did promise you all a TikTok. Uh, this is my wife and I's account that we created during the pandemic. Nothing special, but... This is what we got from the Korean government for free while we're in quarantine. The kim seaweed, shin ramen, curry, bone marrow soup, jajang sauce, crackers, rice soup, tuna, kimchi, huge things of tuna, microwavable rice, 12 total, hand sanitizer, spray sanitizer, Travel pack like shampoo, toothpaste, sanitizing wipes, thermometer, some heavy duty masks. Wow, these things are so heavy duty. Way better than what you find in America. Thank you, Korean government. As a final note, to make this video, I used Video Leap on my iPad along with a lot of screen recording off of YouTube. I hope it was enjoyable and gave you some new thoughts. Thank you.